Thanks for joining me for this Met Office 10-day trend. After a record-breaking February, March at least has started a little bit drier. But overall, the weather patterns haven't really changed. And there's no real sign of that in the next week and a half either. The weather remains changeable, unsettled. Further spells of wet and windy conditions to come over the next uh, week or so, with brief drier and brighter spells in between. The main theme is that we're not expecting any large area of high pressure to sit around anytime soon. If you're after drier weather, well, the best you can hope for at the moment is just to be between low pressure systems. And that's kind of where we are as we start into Wednesday and Thursday. There's low pressure systems surrounding the UK. This one approaching the south will bring some wet and windy weather, certainly to France during Thursday. And on the northern edge of it, the south coast, looking fairly soggy for a time on Thursday morning. But that low is tending to shift away. And for large parts of the country, Thursday will be dry and bright, just a few showers. But it's not going to be mild temperatures in many places, just six or seven Celsius. So feeling pretty chilly for this time of year. That low pressure system pushes away. Behind me, though, there is another weather front approaching. This band of rain will move in on Friday. But um, as it does move across the country, it kind of breaks up and fizzles out. So just bringing a few showers into the west. Again, large parts of the east looking largely dry on Friday. The bigger picture, though, does reveal another chunky area of low pressure out in the uh, North Atlantic. And in particular, we need to watch this here, this triple point where these weather fronts all join up. That could develop into another pretty intense area of low pressure as it interacts with the jet stream. Look at it spinning up there during the first part of the weekend. Now, the low itself is heading up towards Iceland, but again, its weather fronts will be moving across the UK and the isobars will be squeezing together. So we are expecting another spell of wet and windy weather this weekend. Just how wet and where we see the heaviest rain depends on this weather front. And it's not a straightforward cold front. Got a little bump in it. We call this a wave. And uh, these waving weather fronts are notoriously tricky to pin down the details of, but it could bring some quite heavy rain. Notice the brighter colours there, particularly over parts of the west and especially over the hills, the Welsh mountains and the Cumbrian fell. So areas that have been badly affected by the exceptionally wet conditions during February. So this weather front, there is a bit of uncertainty as there always is with these waving weather fronts and that does need to be kept a close eye on. Either way, the isobars squeeze together, so it's going to be quite windy for a time on Saturday night. And then we're left with uh, blustery showers on Sunday. So overall, the weekend, for many places, starting dry. And actually, for a good part of England and Wales, most of Saturday looking dry at this stage. But then there is that potential for some heavy rain and gusty winds on Saturday night. And Sunday, basically a mixture of sunshine and blustery showers. What about beyond the weekend and into next week? Well, I'm going to show you uh, this chart now. I showed you something similar this time last week and was potentially flagging up that high pressure wasn't too far away. But this chart shows that that area of high pressure is still just as far away. Now, if we go back in time down the uh, y-axis here and you go forward in time along the top here. So these are the forecast days and blue means low pressure is likely to be in charge of the UK's weather. Red means high pressure. So if you want drier, settled weather, you need a glimmer of red. And that's all we had this time last week. At the end of the forecast period, a glimmer of pinky red suggesting that the weather was going to settle down. But as we've been through this past week, just notice how those pinky reds have just always been out of reach, if you like, just always being shifted back in time. So the latest projections keep blue, keep low pressure in charge of our weather throughout next week. That means further spells of wet and windy weather to come, as I said at the start, interspersed with brief, drier and brighter spells. Now, there is a subtle shift as we go into next week with the position of the jet stream. For much of this week, the jet has been shifted further south. That's the reason why the low pressure systems have been more moving in across England and Wales, and uh, particularly this one coming into France. But uh, there's a warm and a cold side to the jet. So with the jet stream shifted further south, we've been generally in the colder air this week, which is why it's been relatively chilly with nighttime frosts. The subtle shift as we go into next week is the jet stream looks like pushing a little further north, taking the low pressure systems also a little further north, but also meaning that the warmer air may push a little further north 
across parts of the UK. So it's still a strong jet stream coming in from the Atlantic. So it's still bringing spells of wet and windy weather, but that subtle shift further north may mean it's just not quite so cold when the sun does come out. And the sun will come out at times, but the main themes are that yes, further spells of wet and windy weather are likely. At the moment, it looks like typical March fair, really with unsettled, changeable conditions, spells of wet and windy weather moving through. But perhaps, as I say, when the sun does pop out, it's getting a bit stronger now, so it will feel a little bit milder. That's all for now, but make sure you stay up to date with the very latest day-by-day -day details of the weather. Best way to do that is to sign up to our YouTube channels or follow us on Twitter and Facebook.